Today I'm going to show you how to make a before and after button for your TK8 combo slash CX panel. Hello and welcome to the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. On my last TK Friday video, I mentioned a before and after button. In fact, it's this button right here. If you click it, it'll go down to your background layer and it'll show you the before, before you've made any edits. And if you click it again, it'll show you the after. I also mentioned on that video, if anybody would like to see how I created this button and how to program it into your TKA combo or CX panel, I would be happy to do it. And I've had a lot of response. So today I will do that. I will show you how to make it and how to program it into your TK8 combo or CX panel. Before I start and show you how to make that action, it's very important that you have a image loaded up in Photoshop. You notice I have this image here. I just have a couple dodge and burn layers on it. So you wanna make sure you have an image with at least a couple of layers on it in order for you to be able to make this action. And then on those layers, make sure you make some kind of an adjustment so you can test to see if the before and after action is actually working for you. And one more thing, make sure you have a background layer and background layers are locked, and you'll notice I have a lock here because this action is based off the background layer, okay? In other words, if you don't have a background layer, the before and after will not work. You need a background layer. And the last thing, and this is very important, do not have the background layer selected. You can select any of the other layers, but not the background layer. This is important for making the action. The first thing we need to do is make an action. So come up to your icon. It looks like a little play arrow here. This is where your actions live. And you want to click that and open up your actions. And now your actions are living inside of here. Now you'll notice I have a folder here called default actions. If I collapse this, all those actions are inside that folder and you don't see them now. If I open it back up, you can see all those actions inside of there. So what I want to recommend to you is start out by making yourself a, a new group folder for actions. And to do that, you want to come right down here. See this icon right here? This will create like a new action set or a group. So click that and we'll give it a name and let's call it, um, let's call it TK8. TK8 uh, actions. Actions you'll use with the TK8 combo slash CX panel and click OK. And see now you have a new folder here. And it's ready to put actions inside. And now we're ready to create that action. All right. Now, if you look down at the bottom of the uh, actions panel, you'll notice you have different icons down here. You have a stop, a record, a play. So what we need to do is click the plus. And when we do this, this is going to give us a new action. And we're going to call this, we're going to call it before space after. And we're going to click record. And now we're recording our action. So any mouse click we do, it'll be recorded. So here's what we want to do next. No matter what layer you're on, just come down to the background layer and just click on it. Click on the background layer and you'll notice it says select layer background. And then what you want to do is hold your option or alt key down, depending if you're on a Mac or a PC, and click this I. All right. And that's it. After you've done that, click this stop button here. Right now we're seeing the before state, just the background layer. So if I come up to my action now, before and after, click right here. And now when I hit play, you're gonna see the after, okay? And if I click it again, you'll see the before. And if I click, click it again, you'll see the after. And if I'm on a different layer and I click the play button here, you'll, it'll, you'll see this will go down to the background layer and we'll see the before. Here's the before, and here is the after. All right, we've made our action. Now we got to program our TK8 combo or CX panel. By the way, if you don't feel up to the challenge of making this action, I will uh, link this action in the description below this video. You can go ahead and download it from my Google Drive. Just double click it, and it'll put it in uh, into your actions in uh, Photoshop, it'll be in a uh, TK8 actions folder. What we're looking at right now is the TK8 instruction manual. All right, and we're looking at user programmable buttons. 15 buttons on the combo and CX modules can be reprogrammed by the user to play actions from Photoshop's regular actions panel. 
The buttons that have regular type on them instead of an icon or symbol are the ones that can be reprogrammed. Red outlines image at right. So see the image at the right, like the 100% has a red line around it. We can reprogram this. All these buttons in here can be reprogrammed in the red as well as these two buttons down here. So that's important. I wanted to show you which buttons we can use. Of course, you can, you know, you can also use the uh, user actions as well. But these are nice if you want to have uh, an action that you can get to real quick, like this before and after. You're going to want it out here in the open so it's easier for you to get to. If you put it in the user actions, that would take an extra click, which would slow up your workflow. Are you ready to install that before after button? Well, let's do it. Let's go ahead and close out the actions panel by clicking on this uh, play icon. I've already installed my before after in my combo. Uh, panel, but I don't have it in my CX panel. So let's come up here to plugins and let's open up my CX panel and let's uh, install it into here. Now, remember, any of these buttons with text on them can be used uh, as well as this 100% button can be used, reprogrammed, I should say, and uh, as well as what were the other two? ACR and well, I programmed this one for depth map. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how we can do this. I'll use this flatten button to reprogram it to my before after. So all you need to do is command or control click that button. And when you do, this button action comes up here. Now you can reset it to the default setting. So if you ever programmed a button you wanted to go back, you can always come back and reset it if you need to, or you can choose an action set. My before after action is in this TK8 action set. So if I click this, you'll see, ooh, there's my before and after. So if I click this, it's now programmed before and after, right? So now if I click this, here's before and here's after. And again, if I'm on a different layer and I click the before and after, it'll go down to the background layer and you'll see the before and I click it again and you'll see the after. So it's that easy to reprogram these different buttons here. And if you decide you don't want this anymore, just command or control click it and click reset and it'll go back to the original defaulted button. But let's command and control click it again. It's in this action set called TK8 actions and we're gonna click before, after and there it is. So here's our before and here's our after. So you can go back and reset these if you choose to at a later time or change them to a different action. Well, there it is, everyone. Now you know how to make a before and after button for your TK8 combo or CX panel. Now, there's another cool thing that you can do uh, with actions, and that is you can actually record menu actions, Photoshop menu actions. And by that, what I mean is, like you see here, I have this button called Neural Filters and one called Lens Blur. Like I can launch different filters and things like that. Those would be called like menu items. If you would be interested in learning how to do that, I can make another tutorial on that. I was going to do it on this tutorial, but it, this one got a little bit on the long side, so I don't want to confuse you by giving you too much at once. So if you're interested in me showing you how to uh, program uh, Photoshop menu items into the TK8 Combo or CX panel, let me know in the description below this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe, click the bell notification icon, then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time, but until then, happy editing.